of 13 in Canada, adults going into an acute care hospital will experience an adverse event with serious harm. And roughly one out of 100 will experience an adverse event with death. Dr. Robson is a primary care physician in Hamilton, Ontario. People don't realize what a significant issue accidental, unintentional harm is from a patient safety perspective. So for instance, almost 20,000 Canadians died as a result of COVID. Over the same 12 month period, about 35,000 Canadians have died as a result of a breakdown in the way care is provided. That's stunning. Yeah. Do you want to know the really sad thing, Sandy, is that's 35,000 who die. The number that are harmed each year is roughly about 500,000. It's more dangerous to go into an acute care hospital than to smoke cigarettes. Why is it happening with the frequency that it is? It's happening because the way we deliver health care has become so complex and it requires the integration of so many different factors that unintentional harm is the basically inevitable result of it. Unintentional harm is devastating for families. It's an, a huge uphill battle for patients and families to get any information about what happened. They want an apology, an acknowledgement that a mistake was made. Okay. And an acknowledgement that the system didn't do what everybody thought it should do. But an apology rarely happens, says Dr. Robson. The last option, suing the doctor. Doctors have a very uh, powerful organization with over five billion dollars in the bank to defend cases against the doctor. Paul Hart is a medical malpractice lawyer in Toronto who once worked for that powerful organization with billions in its war chest. It's called the Canadian Medical Protective Association or the CMPA. He knows how it operates. They'll spend whatever it takes to protect the doctor's reputation. So if somebody has been injured with a $10,000 claim, they'll have, and I've seen them, spend $100,000 in legal fees. So it's at any cost? It's at any cost. Founded in 1901, then incorporated by an Act of Parliament, the CMPA, according to its website, has no financial limits to the legal assistance it provides to members, which means victims and families are up against highly paid lawyers and experts with very deep pockets. The reality is, is that Tens of thousands of Canadians who are harmed every year as a result of medical error go without compensation. And that's fundamentally antithetical to our system of medicine. And is that because the system goes against them? It's because the system is set up to value a doctor's reputation above compensation to an injured patient. Paul Hart says the numbers support this. Over a 10-year period, approximately 75% of Canadians lose their claim when cases go to trial. Right or wrong, doctors who have made an error escape accountability. 